Hey Vol fans, fall camp is finally here. Team 117 takes the field behind me for practice number one. We are just 29 days until kickoff and football time in Tennessee. You know, I think obviously the first day, good things, uh, things we need to correct. Um, you know, we talked to our players all along about owning their conditioning and owning their technique. And uh, I thought we started off exceptionally well. Then as practice wore on, uh, I thought we lost our mental intensity. And uh, to be a team that has to overachieve, we have to be able to maintain that intensity for 60 minutes. And our players will respond. I thought today was a great teaching tool. Uh, typical first day for freshmen. Uh, they were more worried about getting lined up. I told myself I wasn't going to lose my voice on the first day, and uh, I failed in that. But uh, you know, I still like the mentality of this football team. We just have to continue to preach and learn how to play winning football. You know, taking care of the football, the effort, and again, it gets back to technique. And there's so much that can be developed with no pads. But uh, the big thing, we have to come back tomorrow. We have to be a much better football team in terms of uh, our mental effort and our men mental intensity that it takes to compete for 60 minutes. Coach Jones stresses urgency to the team and demands progress every day. What you have is a great sense of urgency. And every day we have to have a great sense of urgency. But it gets back to being process oriented. You know the phrase that everyone uses, how, how to eat an alpha, one bite at a time. It's the same thing of training camp. Every day is critical, and every day is more important than the next day. So tomorrow when we leave this football field again, we have to show great strides, and, and those improvements that we need to move forward will be pointed out tonight in meetings. Never satisfied, Coach Bajakian states that practice one is the most difficult. However, the players must continue to work hard. I don't think you're ever completely satisfied with, with how practice one, especially practice one. Uh, the biggest thing that, that we need to focus on is is playing with great effort and playing with great tempo. And uh, that that's, doesn't come naturally to guys. So you're always going to be in that situation, practice one, where um, you're, you're, you're pulling them along and, and, and you're coaching effort and tempo as much or more than you're coaching technique and assignment. And, and that, that's just natural. We, it's, the, it's expected day one, and, and sure enough, that was there. Clear participation in the offseason is evident to Coach Azani. I think you could tell the young guys that came in this summer and, and worked and you know maybe Ryan Jenkins might be a little bit further behind because he came in halfway through this summer so you can kind of tell he's a, he's a, he's not just quite there yet with the with the uh, the timing and the speed but it's all good those guys came out and gave me great effort today. Junior quarterback Justin Worley says everyone was excited and looked forward to practice today. I think everybody was just excited to get back out there and uh... I mean, obviously we're not in pads and stuff, but just get back out there, get the, the hang of things. And we said last night, this isn't really practice one, this is practice 16, uh, coming off of spring practice. So uh, just trying to retain our info uh, from the spring and uh, go out there and have a little fun today. That's a wrap for practice number one here in Knoxville. Be sure to tune in to utsports.com for more information and exclusive details. For your Vol Report, I'm Sarah Mitchell.